All right. So next, let's go ahead and start our chicken breasts. Okay. Um, Gorgeous chicken breasts. I know you mentioned you get these from a local farm. Yep, these are from uh, Creaky Tree Farm. Creaky Tree. Uh, Such Creaky a cute Tree. Name. It is, and they're, it's kind of neat. Their farm has a lot of trees that actually okay. do creak. Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's really pretty cool. All right, so uh, a little trick. Um, really cooking any proteins, mm -hmm. but um, meats too. Uh, you can do this with fish. Moisture is kind of your enemy. For crispiness? Um, yes, for crispiness. So a lot of times I'll just take a, a paper towel mm -hmm. and just kind of blot off any excess moisture. Okay. Um, and then let me just... I feel like even if your proteins are dry, if you have them sit out on the counter for a little bit, they tend to release even more moisture as exactly. they sit. Exactly, yeah. Um, and that's, I think there's a big movement to actually pull, you know, your uh, proteins out 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. before you cook it. That helps bring the temperature up right. so it's not such a huge shock. Um, which then seizes up the muscles and can break the cell walls and things like that. Great. All right. So I'm just adding a little bit of blended oil to this. All right. So I think I'm just going to rotate these around because okay. we have a nice hot pan or a hot, nice hot flame over there. It's a little bit stronger. Um, and then we're going to come in and we'll season our chicken. Um, and, you know, chicken is one of those things that I feel like when you're cooking it uh, in the kitchen, we always joke about how angry it is. Oh, um, angry chickens, huh? You, you, angry birds? Well, you have to be careful because you do tend to get a lot of splatters oh, um, okay. from your oil. Um, so I'm just going to come in here and add these guys in. And I noticed you seasoned that right before you put them in the pan. Yep, is that just, intentional? It is intentional. It's, it's kind of the same premise as the drier the chicken, the better. Sure. Because um, so that salt's going to pull out moisture. The salt's going to pull out moisture. So the longer it sits there, the more moisture is going to pull out. Right. Um, and it's going to affect your sear. Um, so we talk about adding the chicken. We cooled down the pan a little bit. Right. Um, so I want to have it return to uh, heat. Um, you want to keep that flame as high as possible. I want to keep that flame as high as possible in the mm -hmm. beginning. Um, and then one of the ways that I really have found um, to get a really nice, crispy uh, chicken skin, we're actually going to roast this in the oven. Okay. Um, but as this pan sits here, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm just going to baste this mm. with oil, all right? So you start cooking it from the other side. From the other right side. The and also because it's going in the oven, that oil is going to coat the whole thing, which helps promote even cooking nice. throughout the whole thing. And even help get that a little brown, Exactly, too. exactly. So, now you're going to cook that skin side down the entire time? Yes. And that's kind of the way that I found yeah. you can get the best... Um, best skin. Um, so you can see I'm starting to get a little color there. Oh yeah, there. Um, that happened fast. So I now I'm ready. We're going to go ahead and take this guy and put it right in the oven. Great. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so we have that at 400 degrees. I'm just come and take a look at our chicken, see how we're doing. So that cooks pretty quickly. So we're still a little under here, mm -hmm. um, but it is, it's kind of caramelizing pretty quick there. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of speed it along, is move it to the burner. I'm now going to season my other side here. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and flip these guys over. All right. Oh, that looks incredible. All right. So now we'll just kind of let these guys finish up. Um, as we're waiting for the rest of this stuff to cook. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a little butter um, right in there. Of course, we'll do a little sherry vinegar. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? <laughs> and will you just grab a pinch of thyme? Sure. Uh, and just hit me with a pinch of thyme right in there. All right. We're, and then I'm just going to do a little base here. Ooh, yum. Um, and that kind of it, it so kind of brings the natural juices of the chicken, that acid, a little yeah. bit of butter together. Once that thyme and the butter and the vinegar hit yeah. that pan, it, oh, it, it really wakes everything so up. Good. All right, so I think we're all set to plate. Great. All right. All right. So we got our spetzel down there. Um, Beautiful. The carrots really thickened up nicely. Yeah, and they're they're glazed up really nicely. Yeah. We'll come right in here. Mm. And this is kind of fun, you know, 
I just kind of think of, of the way my mom used to yeah, do it. Yeah, this is so homey. Yeah. I was just thinking. Uh, so over here I have just a little, this is a little red mustard green to kind of bring it all together. I always love to garnish with a little fresh greens. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll come right in here. We have our chicken. Wow. And we are all set to go. That's great.